You can set borders up around your document here in nice pretty colors or you can even do it to a select group of text here by first selecting it of course and then up at the top clicking on your borders button and coming down here and let's say we want a line beneath it click on it adds a line beneath what I've selected here so I'll go ahead and select it again click on the border uh, button let's do all sides or the outside borders click off and you can see it puts a nice border boxes it out really nice the address let's do a little bit more I'm gonna go ahead and select the text again click on the border button and this time go down to borders and shading this gives me more flexibility here because it gives me a nice little preview window for example let's say I didn't want the bottom border to be shown in the preview window I can click on it and it disappears so when I click OK I don't have a bottom border let's do some more I can click on the drop down arrow and click on borders and shading but because it was the most recent button that I used it's just right there so I can click on it now let's have some fun let's say we want to box it so it's got lines all the way around it again or ooh, let's make it shadow that's fun and then let's change the color to the borders to maybe say something I don't know blue here and if it doesn't update in the preview window you want to double check here if it doesn't update then you'll need to click on the lines to update it so let me go back to shadow because I just messed it up now it's back in shadow again and let's change the width instead of a half a point let's go up to three point oh that's getting fancy and then finally what I'd like to do is over on the shading tab is add a little color to the center of the box so I'll click on the drop down arrow and let's do something like that and you can see it's updating uh, maybe that's a little bit too much let's do something a little bit more faded there okay that looks great and then when I'm finished all I have to do is click OK ooh that's nice isn't it okay that was pretty fun um, if I need to make any changes to it you can go ahead and select and drag it or how about if we just click somewhere in the box itself and then come up here click on the border button we can make changes here in fact it removed the border and also removed the shadow set to it I can change the color and let's do orange and click on the left side so now I have a color on the left side that's orange it looks really annoying click OK but nonetheless you get the hint you can make um, changes to these borders with different colors and shading and so forth so I'm gonna click the undo button because I liked it the way it was here and let's add a border to the document here so I can click anywhere in here and then just click on the uh, border button and what I want to do is I want to do a page border so I click on the page border tab up at the top and I can box the whole um, border on each page here and I can apply it to the whole document or just to this section or the first page only let's do the whole document let's change the color to something a little bit more deeper blue and maybe give it a thinner outline by changing the width here if you wanted to you could click on this and say there's no top border of each document or click on it to add the border let's give it a little bit of a shadow because that always looks nice and then of course when you're finished click OK that looks pretty nice scrolling up and down if I want to make one final change I'll click on the border button again and let's say on the page border instead of using the color let's change and look at some art maybe something kind of goofy here well okay let's go with apples yuck but let's click OK so in summary anytime you click on the border button just make sure if you want to work on the border that you have selected wherever your cursor is flashing and then add shading to that selected text or work on the whole page itself and one more little side note is you can click on the options button and you can say you want this closer to the top margin by decreasing your points here your apples and then clicking OK and then click OK and it shifts it up closer to the top margin. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.